G'day Smoke and Dagger fans. Today we've got an absolute treat for you. If you've ever had one of these bad boys in McDonald's Sausage and Egg McMuffin, you know what I'm talking about. You've gone for a drive, maybe you're a bit hungover, I don't know, but you've definitely had one of these bad boys. So follow us along today for our spin on the classic. All right, let's open this up. See what we've got on this bad boy. All right, immediately we can see classic McDonald's structural integrity. Kind of needs some work. Cheese and sausage is coming way out the side. English McMuffin hanging over this way. Let's open her up. Yeah, looking a bit dry here on the patty, I have to say. Uh, but what we're going to make a bit later today, it's going to be much nicer. Egg, also pretty dry. No evidence of anything runny there. McMuffin, probably seen better days. All right, let's put this back together. And we'll save it for later for a taste test. All right, folks, it's time to grab our ingredients. We're gonna grab seven grams of yeast, 45 grams of sugar, and 480 mils of milk. Give this a whisk, make sure the milk is slightly warmed, let it sit for five minutes. While that's sitting, grab 675 grams of flour and eight grams of sea salt, mix them together. and add our mix. Add one egg, add 50 grams of slightly melted butter, combine. Once this is done, let it rest for about an hour. While that's resting, we're going to form our sausage patties. I had these sausages laying around so I thought I might as well use this. You're more than welcome to mince your own meat. Once you got your mints together, we're just going to form these into sausage patty shapes. Check it on the dough, that's risen nicely. We're just gonna push this out with our fingers and then give it a good roll. Once that's done, we're gonna cut out our McMuffin. And then we're gonna sprinkle it with polenta or cornmeal, whatever you have available. These are starting to look great. We're gonna let them rest for 10 minutes before putting them on the barbecue and cooking them. Look at that, lovely. We're gonna fry some eggs, making sure we have a runny yolk. To do this, add a bit of water to the pan and then chuck some foil over the top. We're gonna grill our sausage patties and while we're doing that, we can melt some cheese in our McMuffin. Now it's time for assembly. First the McMuffin with the cheese, then the sausage patty, then the egg, and then we're just going to add some relish to the top side of the McMuffin. Once this is done, carefully place it on and you're done. Jeez, doesn't that look good? There is simply no comparison here. Small, dry, big, moist, juicy. Let's cut into it and have a look, eh? Hey? 
Wow, we. All right, folks, that wraps up the cook, but now it's time for the all important taste test. Look at the difference here. I'm going to start with the McDonald's one, see how it goes. Look, it's not bad. If I was really hungover and near McDonald's, I'd absolutely get that. That egg is overcooked. Sausage patty, pretty tasteless, and it's a little bit dry. Let's try our option. Hmm. Immediately, the relish, that's a game changer. The fact that that's a runny egg, also amazing. And the McMuffin, it's soft on the inside, crispy on the outside. Absolutely perfect, not comparable at all. So obviously our option is the winner, but it also takes significantly more time. So I'm not saying it's the best option all the time, but if you do have the time, absolutely encourage you to give it a go. All right, folks, that wraps up another successful cook. I need to get munging into these ones, so I'll catch you next time. Cheers.